Hello, everyone. My name is Sara Bawazir. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you. It is a pleasure and an honor to be amongst you today as we present solutions that we believe will make our world a better place. We take hope for granted in our daily lives, but it's a powerful force. And for others around the world, hope is what makes them have the strength to live through another day. Some parts of our world are plagued with conflict, and others are inflicted with natural disasters. The results of both are loss of life, infrastructure, and hope. With our initiative, Beacon of Hope UAE, we work with youth in the United Arab Emirates on innovations that we prepare with love, and we donate with love as well, to instill hope for a better and a more sustainable future. We instill hopes, hope in the hearts of young people in war-torn and impoverished areas around the world. For them to feel empowered to build their own communities sustainably. And for them to feel that there is a universal community that cares about them. Our first project is the Beacon in a Box Solar Rechargeable LED Light Kit. We teach children about electronic, electronic circuits, renewable energy, and how important it is to be creative. Our educational light kits have reached 7,000 disadvantaged children around the world. We work with different beneficiaries and communities. We've been to schools, refugee camps, orphanages, and rural areas in Liberia, Morocco, Yemen, Jordan, Tanzania, Djibouti, Somalia, Iraq, and Puerto Rico. This was possible because of the help of our partners and the royal family in the United Arab Emirates, specifically the founder of the initiative, her Highness Sheikh Shamma bin Sultan bin Khalifa Al Nahyan, who is very hands-on when it comes to initiatives on the empowerment of children and women, both in the UAE and in disadvantaged areas. And of course, it would not have been the success that it is without the help of our young and energetic team and our volunteers of all ages. We have evolved rapidly since we started in 2016. And with that, we needed to scale. So our new model includes reaching out to schools in the UAE, providing lesson packs and light kits. The schools would buy the kits for their own students, and that would finance donating to children in disadvantaged areas. Not only that, but those students in the UAE they write messages of hope with their innocent words and drawings to emphasize on the sense of unity that we would like to instill and achieve between young people across borders. We've had a lot of corporations, national and international, interested to contribute as part of their corporate social responsibility. And we have charities and other initiatives on board, helping us develop our resource packs and lesson plans. What we ask today from you is support in whatever way you can to identify better ways of sourcing the components, to identify and develop other innovations in a box, addressing the sustainable development goals to lead us to more channels for distribution in your own countries or in countries you work with. To spread the word, to help us create effective awareness. And of course, 
to make more partnerships in order to empower more children and to boost their confidence in STEM. And now I will end with an Arabic saying, لا يأس مع الحياة ولا حياة مع الياس. Where there is life, there is hope. Thank you all for your kind attention. Sarah, that was fabulous. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to bring some accelerators because we run a role model when we have an amazing entrepreneur with solutions. We want to help them from our community. So come on up, our solution, solution folks. So we've got, uh, let's see, Hen, Philip, come on up, Rania. Okay, great. All right, so first off, uh, I wanted people to notice that the kit is right here. Here's the solar, other, other pieces. So this is not expensive. It's fabulous. So Hen, start with you. Introduce yourself, tell us where you're from, and tell us your thought. Hi, everybody. My name is Hen Dal Hanawi. I'm the CEO of Humanitarian Tracker. Sarah, this, you're such a powerful representation of women working in STEM in the Middle East. I applaud your effort. And I encourage all the partners and anybody that's interested to get involved and change lives of these children in the war torn countries. Good luck. Sarah, that was a beautiful presentation. My name is Rania. I'm with the UN Foundation. I think there's a great opportunity to get engineering students involved in your work and kind of create a cycle of students helping and educating students um, to grow your team. Sarah, truly amazing work. Um, with, uh, my name is Philip Kirikoff. I'm the CEO of Startup Bootcamp in Afrotech. And uh, what we specialize in is working with uh, aligning the amazing, inspiring startups like yourself with corporates that can help you scale. Um, and there's so much that I think we can help you do, both with the partners you already have, and also finding a number of corporates that can really help you take the incredible innovation and get it to a lot more places. So keep up the hard work, but we're really uh, looking forward to working with you side by side. Fabulous. So this is an example for everybody. Like, how can we accelerate this amazing idea so all children who are in struggling places can have these kits, and maybe perhaps all children. So thank you very much, everybody. And so we're going to move to the next. Yay. Yay.